Ontario and then exiting away, moving up into Canada. It's going to be short live. It will come back mid next week, but the mild air comes racing in by Saturday into Sunday into Monday as well. You see what it does to your temperatures. Not that bad, getting a little bit better for you. I'm looking at Detroit right now, still well below the average but it looks like things are going to be warming up. So it was real cold yesterday, right? We're talking about wind chills. We're talking about actual ambient air temperatures, minus 20 to minus 30. How cold does it have to be to get a soda can to explode? This was from Iowa. I have this trusty little handy dandy tool that allows me to test the temperature of each of these cans. So I'm going to see that, try to get it here on the Coke. So the Coke, is currently registering at negative 33 degrees. Oh, man. That's meteorologist Brandon Lawrence. He didn't explode. He's out there, even though it's so cold. He's from our affiliate WOIDT in Des Moines. He did an experiment to, experiment to find out which can would explode first in the sub-zero temperatures up there. And Brandon joins us live now with the results. You're inside, thankfully, but which cans blew up first, Brandon? Yeah, thanks so much for having me. And we're rejoicing this morning because it's actually just nine below here. So it feels a little <laughs> bit better than it wow. did yesterday. Baby so steps. the Pepsi can was the first one to explode. That happened mm. just about 45 minutes to an hour in. So that was really quickly. And then it took a while, but the Bushlight can, which is Iowa's favorite beer, didn't explode until about two and a half hours later. And the rest of them just expanded. So that was a little bit surprising to me. So alcohol, clearly, it doesn't freeze as quickly as, say, a soda would. But do you think the, the can shape or the, the, what the can material or thickness had anything to do with it? Because I know those hairspray cans are a little bit thicker than a, than a beer can would be. Yeah, I think it had to do with the volume, obviously. We talked about how there was a little bit of a discrepancy in our experiment. The Pepsi can was a little bit smaller and the Coke can was a little bit taller. I think there was a difference of 12 to about 16 ounces. So that obviously played a factor. And then you mentioned the hairspray, obviously a lot bigger. There's a lot more volume inside the can. So I think that partially has to do with it. You were still able to use the hairspray just like normal after about four hours. It was a little cold, but you could use it. Oh, Brandon, I just I hope you guys are staying safe out there and uh, you stay safe. Don't go outside if you don't have to. And for goodness sake, don't blow up any more beer cans. You're killing me over here. Brandon, I got a question. I got a question. <laughs> My name's Robin. Yeah. Uh, wait, can you see? Okay, wait, wait, wait. wait. No, Linda, 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 listen. <laughs> hey, Brandon, um, I, I tell me about the story meeting where someone said, I got an idea. <laughs> <laughs> It you was it was really like just you know we sat down in our morning oh, meeting yeah. and <laughs> Yeah, we had seen it and we saw the uh, the experiment that had been done and so we decided to do it here in our studio and we decided, hey, let's bring this outside and mm -hmm. part of the issue that we've been having is our equipment has actually been freezing because it's so cold outside. So we set up a camera through a window in order to do it. So at first it just kind of started as an idea of, hey, let's see what this does. I don't think we really expected it to get the traction and the attention that it did. <laughs> and then obviously it went pretty crazy. I'm glad you're inside today talking about it, not outside, right? That's the Midwestern version of the Southern version of, hey, y'all, watch this. <laughs> oh, my beer. No. <laughs> yeah. All right. Brandon, thank you. W-O-I-D-T. <laughs> W-O-I-D-T? Yes. That's too many call letters. Uh-huh. <laughs> That's one too many, isn't it? Yeah. All right. Take one off. W-O-I. Oh, okay. <laughs>